protect your gut, uh, protect your instinct that you have. Because a fi filmmaking is a very, very chaotic process. There are people who are doubting you, who are questioning you, who are pressurizing you. There are situations that are challenging. You start your process with a particular instinct. You start your process with some kind of an intuition. And let me also tell you one thing, art stems from the unconscious, even if you don't realize it. And art and the unconscious does not realize logic, does not re understand rationale, does not understand intellectual theories. It works in sensations, it works in flashes, it works in uh, images and feelings, you know. And we all have that instinct, you know. Every artist has that instinct, except it's a very soft, quiet whisper. And it starts becoming quieter and quieter with the noise and with the chaos and, uh, you know, all the problems. And personally for me, all the decisions that I'm making on the edit, on the shoot, on casting, a lot of it is from the gut. You know, later it's easy to uh, rationalize and to intellectualize and be like, oh, this is what I was meaning and this is what I meant to say. It's such a physical bodily process. And that is your gut. It's complicated because your intuition is shaped by the things that I said at the beginning. Traveling, reading, living life, going into your childhood memories, interpreting your dreams, your nightmares and creating a rich inner world. Right. So it's a reservoir. Your imagination is a reservoir. What you put in comes back out. So it's complicated. But... Uh, Eventually, what you have is your collective experience as a lived human being and that is your gut, that is your instinct. And it's probably the only compass that I know for doing, you know, half decent work. Because again, you'll be at least being, you'll be being honest to yourself and making your own mistakes. And it, it's a process which is dependent on so many people. It's such a collaborative medium. It's almost a social project, right? You're, you're, almost relying on society to make a film happen uh, in so many ways that it becomes even harder to protect and to be able it's conscious work to listen to that instinct which has now become like a soft whimper so that is my final uh, point which is testing prepping expanding your vocabulary uh, having a good production team having good energies around you all of it is so that there is space for you as who's still an artist. I know this is a medium that's very popular and it's looked as an industry and there is mass reproduction and everybody can access things at the same time and tickets are sold for 100 rupees. But we also know that it is a, it is an artistic expression. It's an art form, you know, be it commercial films or art house films or any kind of films, you know, everybody can be authentic in any medium, uh, in any genre, in any style. And that, uh, you know, if it is anchored to, um, you know, your intuition, in, and then it's also actually that can also help you fight OTT executives. I'm telling you, you know, <laughs> if, if it comes down to that, because at least, you know, you know what is right and at least you know what's working for you. So I will end this by giving you an interesting piece of secondhand advice. There's a Chinese filmmaker called Wang Shaoshai. I hope I pronounce that right. He gave this advice to me after watching a quote. Um, and this is the advice he got from Ozu, you know, Ozu took him in a taxi to his hotel room and Ozu gave him this advice and he gave it to me in 2015 and I didn't make much of it. It didn't really make sense to me. Then last year in Cairo, 2021 or end of 2020, Cairo, 21, Cairo, uh, Emir Kusturika gave me the exact same advice. And then I realized that Quaron had told me exactly the same thing in different words. And it's only now I'm realizing the true value and the true meaning of that advice. I'm not going to spell it out for you, but I'm going to tell you what that advice was. The advice was keep making films and time will teach you the rest. And with that, I will end my blabbering and thank you so much for listening and for being so patient.